working on a uh, Zanotti uh, uni block on a trailer and it wasn't cooling they just turned it on it's Wednesday today they need it for Saturday for a wedding so they thought a couple of days is plenty of notice anyway it's turned it on it's not working hardly any gas in it and all I've found I've put some of the um, tracer gas in there which is nitrogen with some hydrogen in gone around with a leak detector and the only thing I could pick up on was on the um, condensate loop um, because it's on a trailer it doesn't matter if it drips on the floor it's got an overflow here so I've just uh, bypassed that um, so a little piece of pipe there put a coupler in there it used to go off down back up and join into here uh, anyway got that done leak check it and all that um, put gas in it and then find it's uh, running at minus 30 and the room was at plus 10, 12, something like that, 40 degrees difference. So it's around about just over one bar, about 20 psi on 404. So decided the capillary is restricted. Um, we've not got any sense out of the wholesalers. I'm still waiting for them to phone me back for the spec or whether they've got one. That's the old oh, capillary there. So I've chopped that out. Um, and I've actually fitted an expansion valve in there, so we're going to see how well that works. Um, the only thing that's a bit of fun is it's hot gas defrost, so I've had to tee the hot gas into here. But it's pretty similar to how they fed the capillary in there. Um, I've got it on pressure test now, I've got to change the dryer yet. Just checking all my braze joints in here. It's a bit tricky to get in there really, because I've just had one down here. Um, that one up there, and then this lot here. So it's looking good so far. So uh, I've got to change the dryer. Uh, the file, I'll probably put it on the accumulator, which is not the best place for it, but it's about the only place big enough that I can put it. Unless I put it on this here, which is a suction header. So half the coil is going to bypass it, so that's not really ideal. And it might get influenced by them U bends and all that, so I'm just going to clamp it on here. Um, I might slightly undercharge it. Um, let's see how it goes. Holds 530 grams, so I might start off at 450 and see how it does. But um, anyway, let's do a bit more. Right, got the dryer changed. Uh, yeah, that weren't me, by the way. That was whoever changed the compressor previously. So yeah, that's a, that's a little tank down the bottom there, where the drain water goes. So, uh, give that a little bit, it's on uh, 150, 140 power, 140, see how that goes. I've gone around and leak checked all my joints, um, get the file clamped on that, accumulate and put some tape around it and um, get it on vacuum I think before we get locked in last time I worked here late they got a gate with a code on it and we got locked in here <laughs> okay oh, I don't know which light there is in here I've got my torch in there somewhere yeah, here we go there we go uh, yeah so I've got the valve in there, I've got the, the file luckily fit on a short piece of pipe down there. So I've got that uh, strapped on there and some tape around it. I've cable tied all the capillary up from the valve so it doesn't rub through. So stainless steel ones will rub through in, in no time. Um, so uh, yeah, it's just on vac again now. Uh, fingers crossed. Wash out, just going to straighten the fins. 